devastating Tonga tsunami has rocked the rugby league community, impacting many NRL players and their families. And they've moved swiftly. Clubs, including the Broncos, announcing plans to raise money for our stricken neighbours. Fronting up for work, but there's no denying the confronting images from Tonga are a distraction. Hopefully they can you know, use their phone soon so we can uh, find out if they're all right or um, you know, if anything has gone wrong with them. Vati has um, two kids with her and you know, she's worried about if they're not eating, you know, where they're sleeping, it's, cold, it's going to be cold. Holding back emotions, this Broncos trio, all of Tongan heritage, are hurting. My mum was saying her family home uh, that was built by, you know, um, her, her mum and dad um, were actually destroyed uh, in the tsunami. My first time over in Tonga was actually probably the best time of my life. Already there's been plenty of support from a number of NRL clubs. The Storm and Warriors will dedicate their trial game to Unite for Tonga, while today the Broncos announced they'll make a monetary donation, supply goods and also a jersey auction. A visit to the Polynesian Kingdom is certainly on the cards, but for now they'll have to wait. We want to send our love and thoughts and stuff to them, but they probably won't be able to see this at the moment. Stay strong. Um, you know, we're praying for you. Down the M1, Phil Sammy's new two-year contract, enough reason to smile. He's also one of the few to dodge COVID. I think they come back a bit slow. I think they say they got real um, chest pains when they're running. I think there's only seven of us that haven't got it, so keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> Katie Brown, 7 News.